What's up, Wave Makers? It's Mommy Tsunami here. And holy crap, man. <laughs> you guys have been loving the updates to this shitstorm of a company that's been going on here with Paradise Paintings, and I have yet another update for you. Now, I have to say thank you to... Her name is Linda. She said I can say her first name because there's a lot of Lindas out there. You're not gonna find this chick. <laughs> But anyway, so basically, in my last video, we talked about how Stacy Delgado, the owner of Paradise Paintings, sorry, I've like drank a bunch of coffee and I just keep burping. <sighs> anyway, she was angry and threatening legal action and whatever the hell against, I guess, people from a competing diamond painting company that was like exposing her for having all these like financial troubles and possibly being a criminal, which was not necessarily confirmed. However, Linda here, sweet old Linda, actually had access to binverified.com and wow, wow. I just want to say first, before we go through all this information, first of all, I'm obviously not going to post any identifying information to her on here, but there is a lot on here that makes me think, and I don't know how background checks work, all right? I don't know if it goes by like all this information here is based on someone's social security number. I don't know, but there are a lot of questionable things on this background check, including aliases. So it makes me think like maybe some of this isn't actually linked to Stacy. I just want to say I'm not accusing her of any of the things that I am putting out here. This is all speculative. All I know is what is on this background check report in front of me. So we're going to go through it. Don't take any of this as factual information. Take it just with the grain of salt. Let's just say that. It starts off by saying, I'm not allowed to use this information for employment screening, hiring, tenant screening, educational qualification, credit or insurance, or business transactions. I am not doing any of those things, so I think we're good. <laughs> the name on this background check is actually Stacy Lynn Edmonds. From what I understand, that is her maiden name before she got married. In the last video, we speculated that Abel Delgado was her brother or something. It seems as though it's her husband, so they are are married. Anyway, first of all, as far as her aliases, we have 22 different names on file for her. Now, as far as bankruptcies go, we have five bankruptcies reported here for Stacey Delgado, and it lines up with the years in which she's moved, which we know she has moved a lot of times. On the last video, we talked, we had a screenshot where people were saying that she might have financial issues. I think that's where all of this comes from, but the financial issues I'm seeing here are five different bankruptcies. The most recent one being August of last year, so less than a year ago. Well, it was filed in April of last year. Although again, this says the disposition was dismissed, so how does that work with a bankruptcy? I don't know, but anyway, it's on here. She had a bankruptcy in 2018. That also says it was dismissed. In 2017, again, voluntary. They have her attorney's names on here. Bankruptcy in 2016. This was when she was as Stacey Edmonds, so before she got married, apparently. Her first bankruptcy seems to be still under Stacey Edmonds in 1990, so she went like a good what would it be like 16 years without having any financial issues um, and now all of a sudden then she files bankruptcy four years in a row I didn't know that you could file bankruptcy that often someone makes sense of this because this is really strange like why would one person and it's all under Stacy Delgado except the last two it was Stacy Edmonds before she got married so why would one person have that many bankruptcies under their belt? That's weird, that's sketchy. And why would you wanna sign up for a company that's ran by someone who has obvious financial issues? As far as licenses go, she's got some like fishing licenses, hunting and fishing in Ohio and Florida, pretty much. She did have a business filing last updated on July 14th of this year, so like two weeks ago, for Paradise Paintings. Basically just saying that she has a business and she's the president. So, <laughs> all right, guys, that's all of the background check information I have here. I guess the point is I want everyone to have this information just to have in the back of their minds, just in case anything else pops up where you're like, well, this is kind of weird about Stacy. So we can link things back together because for me, a lot of this isn't making sense, which makes me think, like I said, I don't think that all of this is linked to the same Stacy. Why is this person linked to so many aliases? It makes no sense. Anyway, so that's everything that Linda sent me. So thank you again, Linda, for looking into this. It's all just very interesting. And again, I don't want anyone to take any of it as this is the truth and this is the facts and this is what's going on with Stacy because it may or may not be true. There's a few more things I want to go over that kind of showed themselves here in the 
chat. There's a few new screenshots of some posts by Abel. In this one, Abel is just kind of spouting off some typical military shit. I want to thank all of you that are here, have supported us, and continue to stand up for this company. Stacy and I are proud of each and every one of you. We believe in you and stand 100% behind you always. We have had over 1,300 members in this company and only less than 3% are the complainers. Well, that's a kind of specific number. <laughs> Like, usually when you want to downplay something, you would say less than 1% are the people who are complaining, you know, but some, they're like, I did the math and it's 3%. <laughs> what? These individuals enjoy causing drama and try to shut down new companies. We're not going anywhere. Well, we'll see about that because sorry, but there's a lot of evidence that suggests that there are some sketchy things going on. Also, I don't think many of us here are causing drama because it's fun. It's because we feel like people are being wronged, right? Yeah, we're trying to do it to protect people. At the very, very least. I want to give a special and warm thank you and love to all the support persons our teams have, husbands, wives, boyfriends, and girlfriends. Without you, we, the corporation, and all the teams could not make it without you. Thank you from all of us and God bless. Remember, as I do, the Marine Corps motto, Semper Fi, always faithful, always. That's some cult shit. <laughs> Be faithful to our company. Please request refunds and then give us money again. Like, what the fuck? And it looks like this was a comment left by Stacey from that same post she says to someone who's saying I'm waiting patiently and I understand Stacy says thank you so much for that we do truly appreciate it yes my husband is a Marine Corps veteran my father was a Marine Corps drill instructor and raised us three girls that way this company will grow and bigger than anyone will expect we will have items that no other company will have we are so excited now when it comes to the items that they sell let's talk about that in my first video that we talked about this I featured one of their products that was like a gold mermaid painting I think is what it was called. I received a comment from someone named Courtney McLaughlin and this was really interesting to me but it also confirms there is no license for the things that she's selling. Now again this may not go through her this might be something that is at the fault of her distributor I guess the person she's getting products from. Also my camera might die because I've been filming for a really long time so I might be switching to my phone momentarily so if things change that's why. Courtney McLaughlin said that mermaid painting is my high school friend that picture is almost 10 years old. That is her and she photoshopped it to look like that. So then Courtney must have sent this video along to the friend who actually is in this painting or picture I guess um, named Kayla C. She commented and said yeah that was edited for me by Babs Art Creations on DeviantArt using a photo from one of my photo shoots. I did not sell the original photo nor was it a stock photo but I gave permission to her to use for an edit. The original creation can be located here. I'll link that down below if you guys want to see the original painting. We have since found it on many sites for sale. I myself have not received any kind of compensation, which is kind of weird. People are doing a diamond painting with my face on it, but I've gotten no recognition. Yeah, that's really messed up and it fucking sucks. They said they tried to contact the creator and let her know, but they never heard anything back and they see it all the time on sites like AliExpress. So again, that leads to the conspiracy theory, which again is not proven, but there are theories that people are saying that Stacy is drop shipping these diamond paintings from AliExpress and reselling them at a very, very large markup. So when Kayla, the person in this picture says, yes, I have seen my face on AliExpress, that just goes to show that something's going on here. When I said, hey, there should be something legally you can do about this, one commenter, Sincerely Noel, said, legally, if she's got the money, she can do something about it, but a lot of laws are only as good as the balance of your bank account, which makes sense. Yeah, if you wanted to take whoever is distributing distributing this to court, you could, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. So at what point, you know, maybe that's how a lot of these diamond painting companies, among other companies who steal art, that's probably how they get away with a lot of it is because a lot of people just can't afford the court costs to fight it. Jill Lindsay says a lot of diamond painting companies rip off artists and their work. There are a handful of reputable ones that compensate the artist for their work, which makes the paintings themselves more expensive, which makes sense again. I'm going to invest in a new battery. So I have two batteries. <laughs> <laughs> because these days that I film more than one video in one sitting, the battery on that camera just doesn't last. It's brand new too, it's ridiculous. Anyway, where was I? One of you guys <laughs> messaged me and told me that you had reached out to Stacy to, to ask about the uh, art theft. And she responded very condescendingly. And I'm go, okay, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm going to focus and look for this fucking, oh my God, this is, mm. 
because this was like weeks ago and my DMs are a mess. But this is important. Oh, I'm so mad at myself for losing the screenshot that I took to remind myself where it was. Anyway, I'm going to look for it right now. A few minutes later. Alrighty, hey, well, it took me like 30 minutes, but I finally found it. All right. The person who sent this to me was Aveen Foreman on Instagram. And here is the message she sent me. She said, hey Savannah, long time YouTube watcher, first time Instagram messenger here. I'm big into diamond painting and while watching your newest video on paradise paintings, there's one big problem surrounding diamond painting, which is art theft. There are very few companies which work with artists and legally license their work. We talked about how if these companies actually did take the time to license their work, their art would be more expensive. What's interesting with that though, is that Stacy with Paradise Paintings is charging so much for her paintings, her paintings, the products that she sells, that you would think with those steep ass prices, you would be getting a licensed product, but you're not. You were well, like with 100%, you're just not. She doesn't have a license to any of this shit. I went to the Paradise Paintings website, looked at all the art, and I'm pretty sure none of it is legally licensed as none of it is credited to the original artist and the paintings are given names that are different from what the piece is actually called. After a quick reverse image search, I was able to find one of the artists that was being ripped off and messaged her licensing team about the stolen work. I'm planning on doing this for more of the paintings available on the site. Now hopefully this can get them to get shut down as the first artist which I reported to has been in the business for 30 years and is big enough to have a licensing team. Good! That's great! <laughs> Someone somewhere has to have the money to take this woman to court for this. You know, again, this might not be on Stacy. This might not fall on her legally, you know what I mean? It might be from her supplier. However, she won't tell us who her supplier is. So AliExpress, I don't know. So she sent me screenshots of an email. So she messaged one of the artists whose artwork is being stolen by Paradise Paintings. And this was their response. Thank you very much for taking the time to share this information with us. Unfortunately, we're seeing a large uptick in infringement of Donna's artwork on diamond painting kits. As you suspected, this is a fraudulent reproduction of Donna Gelsinger's art and is being used illegally. We will take the steps necessary to have these items removed. Thank you again for your note. Have a wonderful day from Jesse Gelsinger, the president. Okay, so <laughs> great. That's good news. It seems as though these pieces of art are just being pulled from every corner of the internet. Not every single person who creates a piece of art is going to be able to take necessary steps to have it shut down. And at what point, like how many times do you have to, as a company, be sued or fined or whatever for selling unlicensed work, you know, copyright material, for something to actually be done on a large scale? Is it every single piece of art is going to have to go through some kind of litigation or lawsuit or something to be able to do something about this? I, you know, I don't know. And if we don't know who the supplier is, then who do you know who to sue? <laughs> After this, Avine sent an email to Stacy about her art theft. And holy freaking moly, Stacy's a spicy meatball. This is so unprofessional. Last video we talked about what Stacy considers to be professional and it was never noted not to be catty or sassy. And Stacy really uses this to her advantage. It's her company, she can be as sassy as she wants. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Anyway, here's what Stacy said. Dear Aveen, considering that I'm a reseller from wholesalers, you don't fucking say. Any licensing issues fall from the wholesale site where I purchase my diamond paintings. Okay, so she admits it's a website. So it's not like some like secretive wholesale place that you have to have credentials to be able to buy from them. I'm not sure of who you are to stick your nose into my or anyone's business regarding this if you don't know the laws. Well, Stacy, I don't think you know the laws. But I can assure you that my website is not doing anything wrong to infringe on artists' rights. Well, yes it is. If you are selling artwork that someone else made and the original artist is not being compensated, there is some kind of violation of copyright. Plain and simple. If you are profiting off of somebody else's work, some of the blame has to fall on you. But for her to sit here and go, I'm not infringing on artists' work, yeah, you are. Like, you very clearly are. There are artists who are not being compensated for their work, but you are, Stacy. That's wrong. If you don't see that that's wrong, that's really, really messed up. Like, this is not a matter of fair use, because if we want to talk copyright, us YouTubers know how fair use works. If it's transformative in some way, there's no issue there. I don't think 
that turning someone's piece of art into a diamond painting is necessarily transformative. It's still the same piece of art. You know, if someone traces someone else's artwork and colors it a different color and says it's theirs, I don't think that's subject to being a transformative, I don't know. Anyway, the pictures you see on my website are also all over Google as public domain. Well, we already have established that that is not true. If her idea of public domain is going on to deviant art and being like, it's in the public, so it's mine. No, you can't fucking do that. You can't do that. That doesn't make it public domain. Maybe she's like confusing this shit with like commercial use. You can't just take any piece of art from anybody that you find and make a profit off of it. To just sit there and blatantly just disregard the rights of artists like is just wrong to me. No matter what loophole she may or may not be leaping through, it just, it just feels dirty and scammy and scummy and gross. Like morally, like I wouldn't be able to be okay with doing that, you know? But anyway, the end of this email from Stacy just says, please pull your nose back into where it belongs and out of my company. Sincerely, Stacy L. Delgado. Wow, Stacy, you're so professional. And I'm sure people would love to fucking work with you after hearing that shit. Ugh, why, how can you be okay with acting that way? I think we're allowed to stick our nose in your company because you're just clearly doing shit wrong. I know this video is kind of all over the place. I'm just kind of going through um, all the new messages that I've had with these girls about new developments or whatever. Um, I was corrected. So when we've been talking about the whole made in the US and stuff like that, and I've been saying, well, why? aren't there any manufacturers of the drills, which I also found out the drills in diamond paintings are actual, the little diamonds, not like the drill, the little pen things. The drills, what they're called, are not produced in the United States. And my thing was, well, why? They're just dumb little gems or whatever. The information that I've been told regarding that, it's actually harder than it seems. <laughs> All diamond painting drills come from China. Point blank. There's not a US manufacturer that does this. I think they were saying at one point that there is a company who did try to do it at one point, but basically there's so many different colors and so many different sizes and types and cuts and whatever that it requires a lot of different machines. Now I don't know shit about manufacturing anything. However, it makes sense when you put it this way. You have to have a different machine for all those different colors and sizes and blah, blah, blah. So the only company, I guess, who has made machines who can do this are in China. It would be way too expensive to buy each machine that you need and bring it to the US and then not only that, pay someone minimum wage out here to do that, it would be way too much of a cost to a new diamond painting company, which first of all, when that's the case, Stacy has been shown to come out and say, oh, I am going to try to find a way to produce our own stuff in a place in Ohio, she said she found. If these bankruptcies that were on her background check are true, I guess, or, you know, not linked to someone else, like some of the other stuff that was in her background check, this chick doesn't have any money. She doesn't even have money to pay her islanders that she calls them. The money that they deserve, I guess, based on the work that they've done. She doesn't even have money to pay them. When PayPal is holding her funds, she's sitting there like, I can't pay you guys until PayPal gives me my money. Okay, well then you don't have money to buy a fucking manufacturing plant and then get all the machines to do all the little drill manufacturing and, and then licensing artwork. How about that? You know, welcome to the United States. I think things are a lot different over here. That just make it much more expensive to make diamond paint. And we look at these things and we go, well, that can't be worth that much money. But if someone were making them in the United States, all made in the United States. I mean, I'm sure there are people who make the diamond paintings in the United States, but they're shipping those drills from China because that's the only place they come from, right? I hope that clears things up because it certainly did for me. But anyway, yeah, um, Stacy started this company saying everything was made in the USA and that was quickly proven to be false. I throw that on her because she should have done the research to know this. People who don't even own a diamond painting company of their own, but just like diamond paintings, even they know that you can't get drills from the United States. You have to get them from China. So if they know that shit, Stacy, what is her excuse, you know? 
To me, there is no excuse. Okay, I also got screenshots, again, from another post that Stacy made going off on her people in her group, and here's what she said. FYI, there were no orders purchased in March. The first order placed and purchased was at 5.08 a.m. April 1st by Brittany DiPietro. I will not tolerate anyone else stating they placed their order in March when it didn't happen in March. You signed up for your back offices in March, but did not place orders on the main website until April 1st. Yes, shipping has been delayed, but let's not exaggerate that delay worse than it has to be. We are aggressively working to get orders caught up and shipped out now that shipping is working quicker again. Holy farts. Okay. Paradise Paintings was in pre-launch for like a week, I think. And during that time, they were signing people up and to get those founder perks, which were only available before they actually launched in April, you had to buy a starter kit. I don't have proof either way. Are you saying that no one ordered a starter kit? So no one's getting founder perks? I don't know. That seems really sketchy to me. But also, I mean, we're grasping at straws here, Stacy. She's basically saying, you guys are saying that my shipping is so bad that it's taking eight weeks to get your stuff, but it's actually only been seven weeks. It's like, ugh. Stacy, <laughs> It's still a long fucking time. Like at this point, whether it's been a week longer, like people are saying, or a week less, like you're saying, people are still waiting a fucking long time to get their shit. Why is this the hill you're willing to die on? I don't know, a timeline to me just seems really weird because we do know that people were trying to get people to sign up and in order to sign up for founder perks, you had to purchase a Makana, whatever they called it, kit before they launched. Are those not considered orders? And she might be talking about customer orders and then might be confused that other people are actually talking about their Makana orders. I don't know, but she's dying on a hill that just seems so stupid and petty. Like, this woman just won't take responsibility for anything. We also have some pictures here of people claiming they've got their kits, and there was some discussion going on in the group chat of where she's getting these kits, but I don't think we were able to pinpoint which company she's actually getting her supplies from. But here are some pictures. There's just nasty crumpled up packaging. Everything is coming in little plastic bags. It doesn't really seem like there was much care going into the way these packages were being sent out to their customers. Like which MLM do you know of that sends their products out looking this shitty? Because I tell you what, I've ordered from a few MLMs in my life, having been part of them. And they always come in like a nice box and they have like special wrapping and custom tissue paper and you know they try to make things look special this looks so <laughs> like wish to me you know aliexpress like straight from china shit this particular package that this picture is does say it came from that address in nevada in las vegas so this was clearly you know taken out of the original packaging and then placed in a new package and shipped that way so stacy had every opportunity to make this look nice and presentable but this is not nice and presentable. Maybe I'm just being picky, but I feel like for the amount of money that these people are paying for the markup that people are paying for, for these diamond paintings, this is so unprofessional. This picture I thought was just kind of bleh because the one that she unwrapped is so wrinkled. And obviously, again, I've never done a diamond painting before. I've never unwrapped one before, but that looks like someone took a piece of paper and rolled it up and then squished it and stuck it in an envelope. Why? Okay, you're spending so much money on these fucking paintings for them to show up all wrinkled and creased. I feel like they should be like when you buy a poster, right? To keep it from getting smushed like that. How disappointed would you be? Like that thing looks pretty fucking small and we know that their prices are like for something of that size is probably upwards of $20, $30. And you're gonna pay for that piece of paper to show up at your door and just be creased like that. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's cute. One of the girls in the chat said that the canvases, now I don't know anything about these companies, but she is speculating that she may be getting her supplies from Kami Yi or Zuya. Those are two, I guess, diamond painting suppliers or manufacturers or something that may be selling these wholesale. She said the small canvas looks like a random Amazon seller, which that random 
an Amazon seller may be getting their wholesale products from somewhere else, you know? <laughs> oh, about the poorly packaged shit with it looking all wrinkly. One of the girls said they come wrinkly if they are packaged poorly. If you're paying the high premium that you are paying on these diamond paintings from Paradise Paintings, uh, you would expect for them to not be packaged poorly. There's no excuse. One of the girls in the chat found a video of someone actually unboxing their kit and I have not yet watched it. So I have it here on my computer. So let's watch it for the first time together. Hey everyone, it's me, Nancy. I promised Stacy I would do an unveiling. Um, I haven't been feeling well. Sorry, I have to stop already. She promised Stacy that she would do an unveiling. So we see this a lot of times with MLMs where and, and this was used on me when I joined Lime Life, not necessarily Gold Canyon because I had no guidance in Gold Canyon. But um, yeah, with Lime Life, my uplines were like, as soon as you get your kit, go live on Facebook, unbox everything, blah, blah, blah. We kind of went through that video. I have a video of like confessions of a former Hunbot or something like that, where I look at all my old cringy MLM Hunbot posts. And we went through some of the unboxing video that I did personally when I was with my MLM. So this is very common. However, <laughs> it's you usually advised by the upline to do this shit, not the company's CEO. Now, obviously, Stacy has been with other MLMs before, which also, by the way, I think according to her Instagram, not only has she been with paparazzi, but she was also with pharmacy, which again, a lot of you guys have asked me to talk about pharmacy, and I'm sure I will eventually. It's on my list of things to do, but it's just a lot. But yeah, so Stacy has been in her share of MLMs, so she knows kind of the process, like what is proper MLM etiquette, you know? <laughs> so she's going around as the CEO, as the president of the company, telling people, hey, as soon as you get this, you promise me that you will unbox this whole thing on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. It just seems desperate. As you can say, I got my paradise painting. Um, I didn't order a large one. I ordered a small kit. But I'm going to open it like I told her I would. Again. Get it open. Oh my gosh, this is so strong. Well, maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> But yeah, she's already, we're what? Not even a minute into this live broadcast and she's already said twice that she promised Stacy she would do this. Okay. Oh. Here's my end keychain. I ordered an angel. I have an angel. A tray and everything. Okay, notice. See, this as well is just so wrinkled. Like she's unrolling it and it's like a smushed roll. I mean, we're all speculating that she's getting this shit from AliExpress, so probably they were shipped to her in this way, but that doesn't make it okay. Get a better supplier, oh my God. Or stop charging the insane prices you are because look at that. That's my angel. Oops. Cool. Don't so pretty when I'm done. Yeah, if you can get it. It'll be beautiful when it's done. Unwrinkled. It's the first time I'm gonna be doing a diamond painting in my life. So I'm really looking forward to it. Which is sad because maybe she doesn't understand that they're not supposed to look like that. I've never done a diamond painting in my life and I know they probably shouldn't look like that. Especially if you're paying an exorbitant amount of money for it. Like, holy crap. And then here's all the stuff. All the different things to use to do my diamond painting. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. I can't wait to do my key, my keychain. I didn't get the bookmark because I ordered the small one. Mm. But I guess I'll order a bookmark eventually when I can. All right, so like I said, I got my thing, my kit, my angel. I'm so looking forward to doing it, but I'm definitely gonna do the keychain first. All right, God bless, bye-bye. There's some comments here at the end of the screen recording. So this person says, I haven't ordered mine yet despite signing up in April. Too much confusion going on, so I waited. Not sure when I can order one at this point since I'm out of money again. It is confusing though. I don't blame this chick for waiting. The woman in the video says that her painting costs $15. So she got the small kit. Yeah, she paid 15 bucks for it. For what she showed us here, do you think it's worth $15 or not? But 
See, that's not including shipping though. Her flat rate for shipping, I think, was like $9. One of the girls in the group chat says that Stacy has asked people to post pay, which I'm pretty sure. I mean, depending on where you post it. If it's not against the FTC Act, it's definitely just like ethically stupid. Like you shouldn't do that as a business owner, like posting how much money you make. And that goes for all MLNs. You don't see like presidents and CEOs going on live to ask their people to go on social media and post how much they're making with the MLM. That's not something that they do. <laughs> okay, and the most recent update that I have was from a few days ago. This is the last uh, screenshot that I've been sent and that's so this is what we will close the video out on but Stacy first of all she's the caps lock queen everything that she posts is always like she's yelling at you so Stacy posted yet another loud and antagonizing post <laughs> in her diamond paintings uh, paradise paintings group and it says coronavirus concerns Abel and I have had the symptoms of coronavirus Surprise, surprise. But we have been tested and the test was negative for coronavirus. That is why we were very sick. We were told it was just the flu that we had, not coronavirus. I mean, it's not flu season, but I guess it's not impossible to get influenza right now. Is is it? I don't know, where are my medical professionals at? You just don't hear people having the flu this time of year. Anyway, there was no diagnosis of coronavirus for either of us. We are feeling better and are working hard to get everything caught up. As far as our products and shipments are concerned, everything is sanitized and disinfected as soon as it arrives. We sanitize everything multiple times a day to ensure the safety of us us and you as our customers and team members. Our products that have been shipped and are being shipped are just as safe as if you went to the grocery store to get your groceries. We are following CDC guidelines and the health department recommendations to ensure everyone's safety. On another note, please respect corporate hours of operations. Corporate hours are 9 to 6 Pacific Standard Time. We are located in Las Vegas. Those hours are from Monday through Friday. Corporate is closed on Saturday, Sunday, and all major holidays. <sighs> Is corporate just like out of their apartment? <laughs> I mean, it must be, right? They have an apartment listed as their official address on their website. Yeah, it's really professional. I don't know why this is weird to me. Does anyone else think this is weird? I don't think they have a corporate phone number, you know? Have they listed a phone number? Uh, no. Yeah, there's no phone number on here. There's no corporate phone number. So what are they concerned about here? It's not like people are like calling them on the weekends. There's no number to be calling. If you don't want to work for your own business on the weekends, then just like, Stay off social media. <laughs> don't answer messages. Stay out of your DMs. I don't know. It seems like that's on her. Like just because she gets like tagged in something or pinged in something on a weekend doesn't mean that people aren't respecting her. It just means like, hey, you're a business owner. Get back to them when you're working. If you have any concerns or questions, you can email corporate. Please allow up to 72 hours for response. Yeah, their corporate email is a Gmail account. Cute. Your team leaders and Alakai are available during those times to answer your questions that you may have. If they feel you need to reach out to corporate with your question, they will inform you to do so. So basically she's saying, quit bothering me and bother your uplines, please. <laughs> corporate and Alakai are working very hard to get this company going for everyone and get it more streamlined without all the bumps that we have been experiencing. All right. The message after that from one of the girls was like, why does she just not answer the emails during her off business hours? It's not that hard. Like, just don't check your email on the weekends. Don't check your email after six o'clock. No one's calling you, so who cares? <laughs> and the whole thing is in caps. She just sounds so angry. <laughs> oh, what a miserable existence. I don't... That's all I have for you guys. I know that was a lot. Um, as always, I will continue to update you on the happenings of this damn company. It's just so much. As always, you know, if you have any updated information, anything you want to send me, please contact me on Instagram. And I usually will see those. And if you say, hey, I DM'd you, I can go look for your message. But yeah, it's it's a lot, I know. Let's thank my patrons. The biggest, hugest, humongous dist <laughs> thank you in the world goes to Amanda McMahon. Man, Corey Allison, Irene Nordeed, Michelle Matthews, Unknown System Air, Katrina Rosemarick, Elizabeth Wyatt, Karina Windman, Maria Burchett, Meredith Nakata, Molly Wasilewski, Rach J, Whitney Gregory, April Lindblom, Ashley Nichols, Bobby, Boris Geller, Chandrea Christensen, Clark Grace, Daniel Urena, Desiree Lopez, E. Higgins, Eve Blondo, Hey Felicia93, JP or Gino Schaefer, Jackie Wapel, Jenny Ruby, Justin Kelsey, Katie and Nick, Kelly Crefield, Kim Cartwright, Kimberly Taylor, Maddie Darley, Molly 
Molly Breslin, Rachel McHenry, Sammy Jessamy, Savannah Karkoskis, Tuesday the 13th in Vanda's Closet, and to the rest of my wonderful patrons, thank you so much for being here and being you. And even if you're not a patron, thank you for making it to the end of this video, which was really long. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for being here, of course. If you like this shirt I'm wearing, I mentioned it back in Monday's video. Or no, I guess it would be Tuesday now. That's what my upload schedule is now. Okay. This was sent to me by a viewer who has a small business, so if you want the story about it, it's heartwarming to me, so that's why I wanted to share it. But the link for her Etsy store to get a shirt like this, or tie-dye, or custom stuff like that, that's similar to this. Link is in the description, check her out. She's a legitimate small business who actually deserves to be shouted out and helped, so thank you. I've been talking for a long time and I want to go to sleep. Okay, keep making waves, babes. I'll smell you later. Mommy Tsunami out!